Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to use the with keyword to automatically close files after opening them. This is ideal because if you're parsing through the file and an exception happens, it will automatically close and you don't have to worry about putting that inside of a finally block. So let's take a look at what it might look like. We would say with and then we open a file and we'll just say input.txt. We have that file in existence right here. And then you say as and give a variable for the file to be stored in. So we'll say file. And in here we can check to make sure that the file has been opened just to show you that afterwards it's closed. So we will say if file.closed and then we'll say if not. So if it's not closed, then what is it? It's open. So we'll print open. And then after the width, we're gonna make sure it's closed. So if file.closed, print closed. So if this is working properly, this should print and this should print. So we should get open closed in the terminal. Running it and we get both of them. So it seems to be working the way we'd expect. So now all of your file parsing stuff can go inside of the width indented. So right here is where you would do file.read or whatever you're trying to do. For now, I'm just going to put pass and we're gonna get rid of this code here. So it works, it's doing what we expected, but there's one issue and that opening the file itself can cause an exception. So for example, if we put something in here that doesn't exist and run this, now we're getting an error. It's a file not found error. So if there's an error parsing the file, it's automatically closed for us. But if there's an error opening the file, it doesn't get opened. So we need to worry about a try catch for opening the file. And I'm gonna show you a syntax on how to do this. So what we'll do is we'll actually delete this. And we're gonna open a file like normal. So we'll just say file is open and pass in something like input.txt. And now we would wrap this in a try. So we'd say try like so. And we can catch any exceptions down here. So we'll just put OS error, which I believe will include file not found because it inherits from this. You can say as E or whatever you want if you want to give it a name, but if not, we'll just print cannot open. So let's just check it out, make sure it's working. So we'll put in a file name that we can't find because it doesn't exist and run this and it says cannot open. So it seems to be working. And what we can do is we can say else, which will execute if the try is successful. So if there's no exceptions thrown when opening, assuming we got a correct file name and everything, then we can do the with, and then we don't have to worry about closing the file. <laughs> so it's a little complicated, it took me a while to figure this out, but we just say with file, and here is where we would put code to parse the file. So as an example, we'll just print file.read line. And running it, and we get our first line here. So that is the basis, but just as an extra piece of information, if you want to do more tries inside of this width, you can, and that would be used if you want to try to do something that might raise an exception, such as parsing the data a certain way. So if you want to do that, you would put it inside of the width here. You don't have to worry about doing file.close in the finally though, because it's all within a width. So that is your introduction to width. Stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna review everything we've discussed since the last review, and then we're gonna get into databases.